right y'all so I had to take a break from my vending table I got one of uh, my minister friends from church she's watching my table for me I had to come get something to eat it's after 12 o'clock child so I ran home real quick and got me a um made myself a cup of hot tea because it's freezing I was about to be cold child it is freezing we didn't put on my coat so I ordered me some um, Chinese food. So I'm waiting for that to come up. Woo! So I can get back. Mmm. That is something good. Apple cinnamon tea, honey. That is good. Anyway, I tell you what. The heat worked real good in this car, y'all. And I'm glad about it. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And thank y'all for all of your congratulations and everything for about my car. I'm enjoying it. I appreciate y'all. Uh, thank yous and congratulations. I really do. And your prayers. Thank you. Oh Lord Jesus. So what y'all doing on this Saturday? Ooh. Let me turn this off. I was charging my phone and y'all have to remember to have my key with me because if my key not on me my car will not it won't crank so I'm having a time trying to remember that I'm really not too fond of these push start cars because Lord have mercy I'm used to turning you know for my car to crank but hey it's a new day Guess you got to move up with technology. Let me lock my doors, honey. Everybody don't look to be all right. Okay. It ain't like they're going to open the door and snatch me out of here. No way, is it? <laughs> honey, it must going to be the Hulk that's going to snatch me out of my car, baby. Woo. Anyway, it's a beautiful Saturday. It's just cold. I guess the fall is here, honey. Oh, um, I said I was going to talk about, well, not really talk much about that, um, Mr. Wilson pastor that has the, um, I guess the porn, the porn video going around. Um, I didn't even know what everybody was talking about. I just kept hearing, seeing different memes and jokes about a pastor Wilson pastor. So I was like, well, what in the world is going on? So, um. I finally seen what was going on about the video that the uh, pastor had and um, my response which really it's just, it's just sad it's, it's sad um, but that's the condition believe it or not that is the condition of the body of Christ it really is the body of Christ we carry around a lot of deep secrets a lot of things that we uh, fight with and deal with a lot of sins that we have not been delivered from that's in the body of Christ because I used to be one of them when it came to perversion sexual sins things like that but um it takes a lot to really we really don't take a whole lot you just have to confess to God that you have this issue that hey this type of sin whether it's sex pornography those type of things people don't like to talk about people don't like to confess to that they got issues with them but whenever you can confess those things to god honey and let god help you get through it you'll get delivered because i've been delivered from all that kind of stuff lord have mercy when i think about it it's amazing to me because what you thought would never get healed is finally healed god is able i'm a witness but it's just a sad sad time where we have pastors that are just not free from things like that. And I think uh, the I had seen one video, a part of a video, and I guess that was Mr. Wilson talking about, I guess he was not apologizing for that video, if that was him allegedly, I guess. Um. Anyway, we know none of it is of God, and we know the world takes stuff, and, you know, they have a time with it, honey. 
They just they just love it when uh pastors are caught up in stuff like that. But sometimes from what I seen the pastor, he didn't mind being caught up in it. Evidently. Because he was saying there's a lot of pastors that watch porn. There's a lot of pastors that, you know, do that kind of activity and stuff. And which they are. So let me tell you, if you if we know it's not of God, we know you can be delivered. If you want to be delivered, you can. That's that's pretty much what I say about it. I just hate it. I hate it. I, I thought about his wife and his family and his church members. Oh, I just, oh God, my heart just go out to his wife. Oh my God, my heart just go out to her. It really does in his family. Oh, Jesus, it, it's sad, but oh, it's just so sad. But God is able. It, I mean, God is able. If you're dealing with any type of sexual sin, sexual perversion, God is able. My sister calling me. I have talked to y'all later. Bye. But um, anyway, what I was saying, y'all, that was my sister on the phone, so I had to take her phone call. Um, what I was saying about Pastor Wilson, I'm praying for him, for the congregation. I'm praying for his family. I'm just praying for everybody. What I want folks to know that's dealing with sexual perversion, bound by any type of sexual sin, pornography, masturbation, uh, fornication, any type of illicit sex, anybody that's dealing with that uh, stronghold, that sin, there, there's help. You can be delivered. You do not have to live a life of constant repentance. You don't. You don't have to live a life. I, I used to do that. Live a life of constant repentance for that same sin. And, and the devil got us thinking, well, as long as I acknowledge it and I know that it's wrong, um, as long as I acknowledge it and know that it's wrong and ask God to forgive me, I'm okay. But you're not. No. The Bible says no sin shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. God does not just want us to... Um, acknowledge and have a sorrowful heart and cry about it. No, God came to bring a change. He said, I came to give you power over sin, power over the devil. You got power and authority over it. You can live a victorious life and walk on top of any sin. You don't have to keep asking God for forgiveness for the same thing. No, you're not okay. Get healed, get delivered, go through. When that temptation come, go through. Prepare yourself for it. You know what time, you know what hour, you know what triggers you. Be aware of those things. You got to put on a counterattack to the enemy. You don't have to be a pastor and, 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 and discover uh, your sin being viewed for everybody to see. It don't have to happen to you. You can be delivered. You don't have to make excuses. With this pastor doing it, everybody doing it, it does not matter who everybody's doing it. You don't have to do it. You can be free from it because Jesus came to set the captives free in all areas of your life. So I just wanted to share that. You can be free. You can. So like I said, I'm praying for the pastor. I'm praying for, for his family. And for the people that might may have been, no, not may have been, that have been affected from this, this uh, video. We don't make excuses about it. It's sad, it's bad, but hey, God, well, if you still got blood running warm in your vein, I don't care what you did, how many times you do it, you can be delivered. And you don't never have to do that thing again. God ain't just a healer, he's a deliverer of all sin. There ain't no sin you just got to keep uh, keep carrying on with. None. God will give you power to overcome it. All right. So anyway, that's what I wanted to say, child. But like I said, I'm praying for that family and for everything. I just really am. All right. Talk to y'all later. Toodles.